Before we talk about Isaiah Thomas's second 10-day contract, which if you if you missed it, in case you missed it, Isaiah Thomas is being brought back on a second 10-day contract. I just want to let you guys know he played, uh, how many minutes did he play tonight? Like seven, 10? Let's see, uh, Isaiah Thomas. Eight minutes tonight. Isaiah Thomas played eight minutes tonight. I was watching him closely. He was running the floor very well. He was spacing the floor very well. And I wrote this down. He had a drive in that was, it was kind of like a hook shot, kind of layup hook shot that was blocked by Chet Holmgren. And then like another possession down, he drove in and scored with the left hand. And I think he followed that up with like another three. Plus he had two assists. And he was, he was out there. He was clapping. He was encouraging his teammates. He looked pretty good. And this goes back to the very beginning of the show. I'm not saying Isaiah Thomas is going to solve all of our problems and Isaiah Thomas is going to be our savior, but I will say this. Maybe, maybe we need to listen to Tom Chambers and bring in some new life. Maybe next game we need to see some more Isaiah Thomas minutes. Maybe we need to see more Thaddeus Young minutes. Bring in some new life, Frank Vogel. Do something, man, because this team ain't it, bro. But yeah. Speaking of Isaiah Thomas, now that we're kind of transitioning to not the game, I'm literally clicking out of the stats tonight because I just don't even care to talk about this game anymore. Don't go anywhere. We still still got a little bit more to talk about. Dwayne Rankin says, the Suns are planning on signing Isaiah Thomas to a second 10-day contract. Today is the last day of the first one. So shout out to Isaiah Thomas, man. Not only did he... Uh, You know, make his way back to the league after suffering a really bad injury, being out of the league for a while and all that, and just really not playing much over the last two years. But making his way back and the fact that he hasn't gotten very minutes and he literally is, excuse me, he literally is only playing in garbage time minutes. Um but the fact that he's playing in those garbage time minutes, but he's he's being so supportive and he's being so happy. Like they were talking about him on the broadcast tonight and Kevin Ray said he's a, I think Frank Vogel actually said this, but Kevin Ray was talking about it. He's a veteran voice on the sun in the sun's locker room that the sun's like, you know what I mean? Like he's been that veteran voice. He's like the first player up off the bench to like, high five everybody and get people warm, you know, hyped up and all that. So shout out to Isaiah Thomas, man, two 10 day contracts. Curious um, with Isaiah. I know that you haven't had a lot of practice time, but what have you been able to see outside of when he initially got here? Yeah, just the, you know, the pickup games that he's played in, he's looked, he's looked really good, um, healthy and, um, you know, still can fill it up. You know, he's, he's intuitive. He can attack and pick and rolls and he's a hell of a passer too. Curious, and the other night, obviously, they were chanting for him to come in, and he didn't play. What went into that decision to not put him out there? Yeah, just uh, prioritizing the you know the rotational guys we had, uh, Joshua Kobe and, and David Roddy, and I, I, I got to find out if those guys can play, you know, uh, part-time point guard. You what? I, I got to find out if those guys can play, you know, uh, part-time point guard. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And, uh, you know, if he... If Frank Vogel does choose to bring in new life, maybe Isaiah Thomas gets some more minutes. And if he keeps playing well, sign him to a third day and then just sign him for the rest of the season because there's not there's not many days and games left. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Sometimes